Adding individual elements to your post or page using the block editor is simple. However, if you plan to use similar blocks throughout your website, it makes sense to put them together and save them as templates. Doing this becomes simple once you master the group block. Adding this block is simple, but it requires a different process than you'll use with other blocks. To get started, open the post or page you want to work on, choose to add a new block, type in group, and select the first option. When you place this block, a new section will appear, including the option to add multiple elements. Notice that there are two buttons for adding blocks now. We have the one within the group, and of course, our normal add block button. If you use the first one, you'll add an item within the set. If you use the second one, you're just adding a new module after the group block. You can insert multiple elements of any type within the group block. For example, let's, I don't know, add a table block. If we want to keep adding to this group, you'll see the plus icon is at the bottom right. So uh, for instance, I'll just add another table block. And just for good measure, why not add one more? <laughs> and just like that, we have three table blocks all within one group. Here's the thing though, at first glance, it might not be clear what elements are included within the group. To avoid confusion, to afford, to avoid confusion, you can click on this button, which is the list view button. As you can see, our group is right here and we have our three tables within that group. So that was the first method for adding a group block to your posts and pages. But here's another example. We still have our three tables, but they're no longer in a group. If I want, I can actually just highlight all three of these tables, press the icon up here and transform to group. And just like that, I took three existing blocks and was able to group them. Once your block is ready to go, remember that you can save specific groupings as templates or reusable blocks. To do that, press the three dots and click add to reusable blocks. No matter what post or page I'm on, I can now add that entire group just by pressing on the reusable block. It's worth noting that since the group block can contain several different elements, you'll likely be presented with multiple formatting menus. Like in this example, if you put several tables together, you can select each table block individually and get access to its formatting settings and options. Whatever I do here will only affect this table. But if I select the entire group, I'll get a toolbar specific to the group that allows me to transform the columns, drag, move, align content, and a bunch of other things like copy, duplicate, and even more importantly, ungroup, which I could do right here, or I could just remove the entire block. And just to show you, if I ungroup, the block will separate into individual elements. And as I mentioned before, add to reusable blocks will let you save that unique grouping and its settings so you could reuse it in other posts and pages. There are even more settings if you press the settings icon up here at the top right, like color, which you can actually change the entire background color for that group, even with a gradient. It's worth noting that if you change any of these color options, the individual settings for each internal element will override these global options. Then under advanced, we have the HTML element, which we could define that here. We could do our HTML anchor and additional CSS. And there we go. That's all you need to know about the WordPress group block. Be sure to check out our other videos where we're covering all of the different WordPress blocks. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.